I was a 22-year-old second lieutenant who had the responsibility for keeping 30 18-year-olds alive in combat. And that weighed heavily on me for a long time because I was not able to do that. But what I've learned over the years is that it's extremely important to take that awareness of my problem and to put corrective actions in place to fix it. One of them was to allow myself to express my feelings openly in a safe place with people who unconditionally love and support me. The biggest difference between combat veterans who came back from Vietnam who got diagnosed with PTSD and those that didn't was when they came home, the ones that were successful integrated back into their lives was because they had family support and community support, people to talk to and people who would listen to them. In accordance with the latest information from the VA, as of September 30th, 2014, there's 22 million veterans in the United States. In Pennsylvania, there's 939,000. We have 21,100 and some odd uh, veterans in Cumberland County. Today's generation of veterans are more informed of what's going on for a lot of reasons. The VA and the military have done a better job of making the, the veterans and soldiers when they're on active duty aware of what's available to them when they separate and even while they're on active duty. If you are in crisis or if you are in a, a uh, situation where you plan on doing harm to yourself, call this number. I believe that pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional.